uh, you can grow your conversions a lot with pop-ups and we have different kinds of pop-ups so it can be like promotional offers uh, when users uh, uh, are leaving your website you can set up this uh, exit intent pop-up uh, give them additional discount maybe this will con convince them or at least uh, collect their contact details so you can nurture them follow up a bit later offering some new information that's very important because uh, uh, on the website you have limited opportunity to uh, communicate with your customers there is like no salesperson as in offline store that can come and offer something on top of the um, the existing choice of the customer so pop-up is pop-ups are uh, a great way to communicate with your users uh, and it can be set up uh, in a million different ways uh, um, like triggered by uh, specific uh, actions uh, done on the website or just regular uh, offers that you are uh, providing for all visitors. Uh, another thing that we have at Plurday is the sales performance tracker. So basically we have an opportunity to track the uh, transactions, uh, conversion rates, revenue generated. Uh, uh, but uh, like an addition and a unique thing to this is the attribution of this revenue you and an impact of specific elements of your website. So uh, we can show the same way as we are having this heat map. So we can show also uh, in a specific amount uh, uh, how much impact uh, um, each element of the website has on the revenue. So for example, this promotional banner on your front page uh, uh, brought you like three thousand dollars in the last uh, two weeks so you can choose a specific time range and see the impact of uh, every element uh, of your website on sales so this is a very good thing for understanding uh, not only how many clicks or how many engagements these elements had but also what is the role of this element how much value does it bring to your website Okay, that sounds like very valuable information. I have never considered that, but I think that falls into the 80-20 rule that 20% of your content, of your clients and whatsoever bring you 80% of your revenue. And if you can really measure what kind of element on your store, on your website brings you money or converts nicely, that definitely helps in making um, educated decisions on your store.